Hey everyone, welcome back to Possible Audio. In this video, we're going to rebuild the P900 Phono preamp board on the Marantz 1060. This board only had 13 parts, and going into it, I thought this will be a breeze. It'll take probably 20, 30 minutes total, and I'll be done. It ended up taking me probably two or three hours, and that's because trying to orient the underneath side of the board by looking at pictures of the top was difficult. They, they really randomized where the where they placed everything on the board. And some of the parts were literally turned crooked. I, I don't know why. Maybe this was engineering to cut down on noise. But anyways, we did get it done. And I did use Flux for those folks that told me about Flux. <laughs> I'm laughing about it because the container sat on the bench forever before I said to myself, you know, I better use that. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the video. In this video, we're tackling the P900 Phono preamp. And there's not a whole lot that we're gonna do. We're gonna replace, uh, let's see, get my pointer here. We're gonna replace this one here, this transistor here, this tandems, this one, this uh, transistor here. We may remove this, just have to see. We're gonna replace this one, that cap there, and then there's a transistor hiding over here. And of course the main power can, this transistor, that transistor, and that transistor. So what is that? Um, one, two, three, four, what about 12 parts or so? Um, and uh, the big brown ones, we're going to leave those. So this board is not, we just don't have a lot going on. This will go pretty quick. So let's flip it over and start uh, uh, desoldering. It was suggested to me on the last video to put some flux on this wick. And you know, you're right. So I did. And... Uh, it makes a big difference. And I had it sitting here the whole time, but I get started on a project and I'm just like, power through, get it done. So that's why I wasn't using it. But you are right. It does help. It's a lot better. I mean, you guys are right. What can I say? I mean, and uh, thank you for reminding me to... to uh, Get that out and stop doing it the hard way. And watch how quick this goes. Yep, just like that. Tell you what, this is smoking more than Willie Nelson. If you're not sure which ones to desolder and you desolder ones you're not supposed to, that's okay. You know, you just, we just solder it back down later not a big deal you know even though i'm i consider myself a beginner at this when i first 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 started and i was doing that marantz 2245 um i would study the board forever before removing a part because i didn't want to you know desolder the wrong thing and it was a big deal to me. And now I'm just like, eh, big deal. Not a big deal. Let's just do our best. And if we happen to desolder the wrong one, we'll just pop it right back in later. Yeah, 10 times faster with the uh, flux. Get under these wires and try not to burn them. So y'all got any Thanksgiving plans? We all got going on. I'm going to my sister's house. I go over there eh, not very often, probably once every uh, once every three or four months for a visit. She only lives like fifteen minutes away, but I was I was instructed by her and my mom to go over there. That's where I'm supposed to go. You know, I've learned just, just, just do what they say. It's a lot easier. 
So what so what do y'all got planned? What is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Like side dish or anything? Because I'm I'm a foodie. I mean, you tell how fat I am. I love to eat and I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? That's one of my favorite holidays. I actually might like it better than Christmas. As an adult, my brother-in-law's mom makes these. She makes these rolls, and I think they're Sister Schubert rolls. And if you've never heard of a Sister Schubert roll, oh my gosh, amazing. You need to have Sister Schubert rolls at Thanksgiving. If you don't know what to take to Thanksgiving, I'm telling you, pick up Sister Schubert rolls and take them. Everybody will be like, oh my gosh, these are amazing. And if you take those, you're going to need to take a stick of butter. Actually, you're going to need to take many sticks of butter. And my, and my brother-in-law's mom, she just drowns the... She buys them in the pan. You can get them individually or you can get them like in a tin pan. My, my brother-in-law's sister, she makes these, these sweet potatoes in a casserole dish. And on top of it, she puts brown sugar and butter. <coughs> Ooh, got a little bit of smoke that time. Willie Nelson, be proud. And um, she, uh, she, she, so, so these, these sweet potatoes, casserole stuff. Okay, it's like it's like a layer of sweet potatoes, and then she puts brown sugar and butter on top. Lots of brown sugar and butter, and when she bakes it, it creates like this, almost like a sugar, I mean, it is sugar, it creates like this candy coating on top of the sweet potatoes. Oh my gosh, they're, they're incredible. And for Pete's sakes, don't dry out the turkey. Oh my gosh, if you know Aunt Mabel is going to dry out the turkey. Don't have her bring turkey. Tell her, when she goes, I'll bring the turkey. Tell her, no, no, no. Do a ham. Because she can't screw that up. That's kind of hard to screw up. You need the turkey to be juicy. There's this turkey brand. You can order it through the mail. And, I mean, you got to do it. You better order it now if you want it. But it's a company based out of Tyler, Texas, it's called Greenberg, G-R-E-E-N-B-E-R-G, I believe is how you spell it. And let me tell you something. Those smoked turkeys will change your life. It'll change. Let me tell you, you get one of those going at Thanksgiving dinner, <laughs> and, and everybody knows you brought it, they're going to be thanking you. You'll get points. Believe me. So check that out. Greenberg turkey. i tell you what else is good is the mashed potatoes. I mean, you could parachute me into a big field of mashed potatoes and I would eat my way out. And just like anything, there's good mashed potatoes and there's great mashed potatoes. You know, there's the kind of mashed potatoes that you're like, wow. Uh, I like, you know what? I'll eat instant mashed potatoes. Well, hang on, that's the wrong one there. I will eat instant mashed potatoes. It doesn't bother me one bit. I still like them. And you know, they make these ranch ones. Idahoan, I think's the brand. Well, they've teamed up with Hidden Valley Ranch. And they make these instant mashed potatoes. And I, I mean, they're just in the package. All right, you rip it open. Get your water boiling, throw them in, and uh, add your butter and some milk. And let me tell you something, they are, they will change your mind concerning what a mashed potato can be. If I quit talking, I'd do a little better job. If I stopped talking about food, and I had a good breakfast, so I'm not hungry. But you know what? You don't have to be hungry to eat. Come on now, heat it up. There we go. Oh, yeah. It's going to soak it up like dry bread soaking up gravy on Thanksgiving Day. 
Mm-hmm. We were swinging, swinging, and we were swinging. Come over here. I'm pretty sure this is the other transistor. Well, maybe it's right there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's just do this one. Whoa, got a little close to the wires. Thankfully, I didn't burn them. All right, I'm going to start bending these leads up, and then we'll flip it over and try to remove some parts. And I'm sure I missed something, but we'll figure it out. So this is with all the parts removed. And the takeaway from this board that I learned is it's, um, I thought this was going to be like a really easy one to just uh, pull the parts out because there's not very many. But I discovered because of the layout of the board and the way the parts are put in, it was very deceiving going from one side to the other. So that's why you see several pads that the solder's been removed, but it wasn't the part that I needed to remove. And I just, it was kind of trial and error. I'm going to clean everything up and put new parts in. Thanks for reminding me that this isn't just a bench ornament <laughs> that I needed to uh, um, drag it out and use it. Yeah, so I just got done cleaning this board with some clean strip and I straightened a few parts. I went through and checked all of the resistors. I did. They sure packed everything on this board because on the Marantz 2245, the board layout for the Phono preamp is a lot better than this one. I just want to show you briefly the main power can. This is a um, Nichicon PW series. I believe this one's 120 microfarads and some people put 200 or 220 or something like that, but I, I just don't see the point on a phono preamp to do that. So this is what it's getting. That was a little bit of work. It's got all new um, transistors, um, capacitors. I tried to straighten up a lot of the parts on the board. It was a lot of parts were just leaning over, touching each other, crammed. Um, so it, it looks a lot better. Well, um, I got the setup here. I drug my record player in from the listening room and I got the dim bulb test tester set up for the Marantz. I've got it set on phono. Um, the power button is on. The main speaker button is not on, but I'll flip that on in a second. So let's start with um, hitting this switch right here for the dim bulb to Kick on, it should go bright, and then it better go off. <laughs> if it stays bright, we got big problems. It means we got a short. So here we go. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm going to go ahead and engage the speakers and turn on the record. This is some kind of Hawaiian music. I don't know if it's monetized, but I figured we'd try it. And I hear clicking out of both speakers. Hey. Okay. Well. It looks like it's working. So thank you for being here. And um, I'm going to let this run a little bit. But I'm not uh, hearing anything that uh, sounds like there's any issues. I'm not seeing anything. And um, so thank you for being here and watching the Phono preamp rebuild. If you got any questions, just let me know. And I hope you have an awesome Thanksgiving. And um, take care.